When Gordon Ramsay says to the chefs, it's raw, that, that's what that is to me. That is exactly what that is to me. Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Coffee Venture vlog series with your boy Alfie aka Quantum Kazza. As you can see, it is raining. It is London, it's always going to be raining because it's shit, you know, I don't like the rain. As you can see, I'm walking backwards, that's because my sister is recording me at the moment and I don't know why I'm walking backwards, I'm just waffling. But it's raining, I don't want to be talking in the rain because my camera is getting wet, I'm getting wet. And basically, today we're going to a coffee shop, it's an extension of Fuck Offy, it's in Goswell Road and... I hope it's good, I really do, because I, I, I just want some good coffee. And I'm getting wet, and I guess I'll see you there, because it's raining. How your condition? There seems to be a lot of copyright going on inside this uh, coffee shop right now. Yeah. So I made it into um, Groswell Road Coffee, or AKA Fuck Coffee. I don't know what to call it. It's got one name out the front and then it's got an another name on the inside. Like on the, on the mug here, it says Fuck Coffee. And I know you're probably wondering, Alfie, what is that you just held up? Like, it's, it's, it's a legit, it's legit a mug. Um, yeah, the disrespect is real. Basically, I came in like this place and it's pretty feng shui, it's pretty funky. There's loads of random stuff in this place. Like there's a massive like fridge with the like British flag on it. I don't really understand why that's there. It's like the colors are bright and it's in my face. I don't understand its purpose, you know? I don't really understand the whole vibe of this place. It doesn't seem to be an actual theme within this coffee shop. It just seems to be a bit random, a bit like a car boot sale. Like the lighting, as you can see behind me, there's so many random lights. I like that, it's funky. It's always nice to find a funky place like this. I do like that a lot, but I just don't understand why there are a couple of Kermit the Frogs hanging themselves above me. I don't understand that. I really don't. Now we're going to get on to the, uh, this, this monstrosity. Um, yeah, basically, um, I ordered a large latte and it got given to me in this disgusting looking mug. Like, I just, it's so like, it's not satisfying to hold, it's not satisfying to even look at. I don't, it's just, it, it's like it's a horrible feeling holding this. I, I'm gonna say it, I just don't feel prestigious as a coffee drinker drinking a latte in an independent coffee shop in this. I see it as disrespect and I feel very disrespected by being given my coffee in this. Not only that, like, the latte art is no, it's, it's not there, it's non-existent, it's, it don't exist. Another thing, like, I just spoke to the guys behind me on this sofa here. They, um, one of the guys, they got, like, they got lattes the same as me. One got a latte in this mug, and he, the other guy got a latte in, like, a see-through, like, kind of cup. Um, basically, I'll put an image up, you know, like, what they have at the Soho Grind? I'll, I'll chuck an image up, boom like that that's what he had and I didn't understand it was the same drink but in two different cups and we like I don't think you'll we I don't think we were given the option to decide which cup and I know you, you're probably thinking Alfie why are you making such a big deal on a cup before even drinking the coffee and having the whole coffee shop experience vibe etc it's down to the comfortableness you are with your cup because if you're not comfortable with your cup and you just feel like a mug holding a mug it, it's not gonna be it's not gonna be a pleasant experience I hope the coffee's good because if the coffee's good I can't really hate really but like it's just I feel uncomfortable and weird holding just a house cup where I've waffled on enough about this whole establishment I just find it it's a bit weird and I don't unorganized and yeah I don't know I'm not hating on funky like coffee shops, I'm all for funky coffee shops when they make sense, when there's like a theme to them. 
but this place just doesn't have a theme. Like right in front of me, there's just it's just a bookshelf of random books, and I don't understand. And I don't understand that. And they've got amazing like art in here. Like I like I see the art here. They've got amazing art all over the walls, but like it's covered with like a massive mirror and like loads of other stuff. Like I think if they just kept the art and a few other bits, I think it would look legit. I, I I'm like being a hundred percent. Yeah. It's gone quiet all of a sudden. I don't I don't like that quietness. It, it makes me feel very like Oh there we go, there's the copyright, you hear that? <laughs> but anyway, let me just like break down this coffee and why I pulled those expressions. One, it legit looks like one of those sachet coffees you get from Sainsbury's. It's very watery. Like, it just tastes like, um, it's like hot water with flavoring of coffee. I think, yeah, that, that's what I'm getting from this. Um, I don't really taste milk, to be fair. Like, even though I'm assuming they use milk, I just don't really, I'm not really getting that. I'm not really, I don't think the whole like ratio of coffee, milk and hot water has been done well because it's kind of like the wateriness is overwhelming and the lack of coffee is underwhelming and yeah I don't really feel like I don't I don't understand why people rate this you know like I saw the reviews online and I'm thinking these people are delusional and I don't understand like to be fair like don't take my opinion for like ab absolute i think that's the right word even though i'm the top coffee vlogger in london don't take my word you, look my best advice is with coffee shops if i recommend them go if i don't like them still go because you might have a different experience than i did but like my experience at the moment yeah i'm not feeling it still i'm not feeling it you can see it is still here um, I can't, like, I, I just generally can't. Like I said, it's my opinion. Oh, my lip is wet. <laughs> um, anyway, like I said, it's my opinion on this place. Like, other people like this place. Fair due to you, you know, but like, me personally, being a coffee connoisseur, I can't drink it. I, I can't. Like, my body will not allow it, you know? Like, it's like an, like, my antibodies will just fuck it off. I can't, I genuinely, I can't. I don't know why I'm waffling, but it's just a no for me. So no, you know when Gordon Ramsay says to the chefs, it's raw, that, that's what that is to me. That is exactly what that is to me. It's raw. 